Hey guys, and welcome back to another pack making tutorial. Today I'm going to be going through how to make armor. I'm going to be doing this in 32x, which is this file right here. And to find this file, you go to your folder, your assets, Minecraft textures, models, armor, and then all the armors should be in here. Here is diamond layer one and diamond layer two. I have this layout here, which is going to be linked in the description. This is a very simple layout for 32x, and I'm going to begin by showing you how you can edit this and adjust it and what each of the squares mean. Here is diamond layer two. This is just the leggings. All right, so to begin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this layer, and I'm going to copy these two things here. You can do this by holding control with the select tool and just selecting these. And I'm going to copy, control C, and then go onto this layer and control V. And then I'm just going to move these to this top right so that when we're shading, they're all on the same image and we don't have to be swapping between the two images. Right, so to begin, I'm going to be editing this. And I always recommend you guys to edit your layouts that you're original and different. So I'm going to begin, I think this is too blocky here. So I'm going to maybe do this, maybe do that. And so over here on the shoulder, this is basically the left shoulder. So here I'm going to maybe do something like this. This is something I often do. This is going to be our left front shoulder. That's going to be shortened because that's going to be the far left. This is going to be the right of the far sh left shoulder. So this is going to be right next to the chest plate, this part. And this part is going to be behind. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Right, there we go. I've done that. And now for the boots. I'm going to come down here. This is the front of the boot here. So this one, and then I'm, I think I'm just going to do like this. And finally, I'm going to be editing this chest plate. So maybe I'll do like this. Edit that, and then maybe I'll do this too. There we go. So now I have a pretty cool layout for my armor. So now we can begin shading. All right, so to begin shading, what I'm going to do is take our sword texture or any palette that you have for your texture pack. And I'm just going to press K and I'm going to copy this with left click and right click for the dark color. So now we have a good primary and secondary color for our gradients. So I'm going to go back to our image and I'm just going to begin by quickly saying that lots of these are very similar and can just be copied. So these two things here are the same. So you only need to shade one of them. These two are the same. And with our current layout, these two are the same and these two are the same. And so are these two here. So we can immediately ignore a few of these things to shade. And so let's begin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to control A, control C, and then make a new layer here and paste. And this is just so we don't lose our original layout here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift and press S for magic wand tool. Have the lower tolerance fairly low, about 25 ish is fine. And start selecting these and doing a gradient. So let's begin up at the top left here. And I'm just going to do a nice gradient. There we go. Looks nice. And I'm going to start doing that on every single part of this. All right, there we go. I have all of the things shaded now that don't need to be copied. So let's begin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the background layer here and I'm going to go back by pressing shift S to go to the magic wand tool, which is right here. And I'm going to select every other texture. And this is so that we don't have multiple selected and I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to move this on top and I'm going to go effects, selection, outline selection. If you do not have that effect, then make sure to watch the first episode of this series where I show you how to get all of my effects. I'm going to make my outline width reasonable because we're in 32X. I'm going to make it one and I think I'm going to disable anti-aliasing too. And I'm just going to make this black, for example. I'm going to go back to the background layer and I'm going to click all of these. The reason we don't do them all at the same time is because otherwise the outline will not work down the center line here if we selected everything at the same time. And I'm just going to click back on our layer three and do control F. And all that does is repeat our last effect up here. All right, there we go. Now we have our first outline. So what I'm going to do is hold shift, press S and then select here. And that is our magic wand tool holding shift and it just selects all of the black. There are a few things you can do here. You can either lower the opacity of this layer, which just makes it slightly darker, or you can delete this layer. And now you have more control. You can do control U, control shift U to make the darkness brighter and darker, or you can do control shift M 
to do the curves, which is what I'm going to do right now because I like curves. And I'm just going to make this a bit darker. There we go. That looks good to me. So now we have this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, make a new layer, press shift with magic wand tool and select. And now this has selected all the transparent. Now I'm going to hold alt and it should just remove all of that. And now we have this selected. I'm going to merge down and then I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to make a new outline. You can do as many outlines as you want. I usually would stop at two or three, especially for 16x. You probably only want one on 16x. Higher resolutions, you might want more though. And I'm just going to select this anti-aliasing here. I'm going to remove this. And this makes a slightly thinner outline as you can see. So I'm going to press shift again and select all of these with the magic wand tool, delete the layer. And I'm going to go to curves again. And I'm going to make this slightly less dark. The outline layer should always be the darkest, otherwise it will look quite weird. And I think that looks good there. So what I'm going to do is press Ctrl Z, get my selection back, copy it, make a new layer, paste the outline, and then select all the, tr the transparent holding shift with the magic wand tool, press Alt, click, and now we have this again to do the same outline. This time I'm going to do some bevel because I know a lot of people want to know how to do bevel. You don't have to, you could even leave it how it is right now and it's a pretty simple armor, but I'm going to add more to it by doing a bevel. So I'm going to, to do an outline again. I'm going to remove all of these by pressing shift and, and deleting all of them. And now we have this. And what I'm going to do is do control shift I and that inverts the color and makes it white. And now I can double click this layer and make it overlay. And what overlay does with white is it increases the saturation and brightness at the same time, which makes the color look really bright and vibrant. And I'm going to turn down the opacity just a little bit. And all I'm going to do is go here. I'm going to select this. I'm going to press E for the eraser tool. Increase the brush width until it's about the same width as here. So 16 looks pretty good. Turn down the hardness. Make sure anti aliasing is off. And now I can just kind of go and do a nice little bevel and cut out this side here. Another thing you can do is when you're up here, when these are quite tight, when pressing E, it's going to delete both sides. You can start by deleting the parts that you won't need and then going back in and doing it lighter. So even here, I might just select only this part just so I don't delete any of this corner. So I'm going to quickly do that on the rest of this. For example, here, I'm just going to be deleting this and then doing a very simple erase on that part. All right, there we go. I have a very nice bevel around all my textures. Next thing I'm going to be talking about is ways you can add to this. So first thing you can do is coming here and first merging down and then selecting bits like this. And this is to make a bit of a darkened part of your armor. So I'm going to do it like this, I think. And then all I'm going to do is do control shift M because I used curves beforehand and I'm just going to make it a slight bit darker. Now, I think that adds quite a bit to it just to give it a bit more detail. So I'm going to quickly do that on all of the textures here. All right, here we go. Control shift M, make everything darker. And now that's added quite a lot to our armor, I think. Last few things you can do is you can always make a new layer and using our overlay from earlier, I can use white and I can just add little highlights to the armor. This is just an example. Overlay, turn it down a bit. And I, that adds just a tiny bit of, bit of brightness, bit of glow. And there we go, merge down. Always wanna select this and make sure that you don't have any transparent pixels. Delete, there we go. Last thing I always try and do is I go to Control Shift M, and I always just mess around with this, making, trying, and make, seeing what I can do to make it look a bit nicer. Maybe make my highlights a bit higher and my darks a bit darker. And there we go. I have some very beautiful 32x armor. Last thing to get, make this work is just select this, deselect the transparent pixels by holding Alt, clicking, Control X to cut. Put it on this layer, paste, move these here, 
Copy this over and paste. Control C, Control V and move it over. Here, Control C, Control V, move that over. Here, Control Shift F to flatten the image. Press this, copy this. And for these, copy Control V and then hold Shift and then move that over and now it fits. Same up here, copy this, control V, hold shift, and move that over there. And finally, these ones, control C, control V, move that over, put that right there, delete these, copy this, and there you go. Now you have some very, very beautiful 32X armor. I've shown you a few ways. You can always try different things. Please don't try to just copy everything I do here because otherwise every texture pack would look the same and we don't want that, we want some very cool stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please make sure to subscribe for more episodes. Thank you very much for watching. Join my Discord. Goodbye. <laughs>